Well, hello again. Um, I'm going to start to work on the trees, I think. Um, so instead of working from the inside out, I'm working from the outside in this time. Um, I've added sap green to my collection um, by way of a distant memory. I used to set, use sap green a lot when I painted with George. And I know I liked it. It's a color that appeals to me. Uh, so, um, and I think it'll go with what we've got here. So we'll see what I can do. I have the picture here. Um, but it's actually not very helpful about textures. They all look a bit the same, pretty well, apart from this tree here, which is quite close. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, manufacture. Uh, by way of old time's sake, I'm going to start with sap green. Please try to sap green. Um, I've got a bit of... Uh, Indian yellow, which gives me quite a, gives me quite a nice colour actually. And if I want a bit of the darker paint, I can pick up some quite neat from um, just from the, the uh, palette here, because it's neat, uh, it is necessarily going to be darker than the mix that I have. But I can still go into the mix uh, and uh, work on this tree here. Um, I'm letting a bit more of the light show through on as I get lower down. Um, more by way of variety than any real conviction, but we'll get there in the end, so uh, that's a good thing. The trees are, um, I don't know what sort of trees they are, they're very strange looking trees to me, but they look to be pretty vertical, a bit like poplars. They weren't poplars, I don't know what they were. Um, but uh, it, uh, it helps to have some kind of indication. Uh, if I add a bit more of the Indian yellow, I get a lighter colour still. And if I'm not happy with that, This bank here, got quite a lot, is catching the sun here actually, so I'm going to bring that down more as a bank. Um, more of that yellow in. Generally speaking, when I'm working with green, I try to introduce yellow as the uh, the color of lightning. It do occasionally go as far as putting in a little bit of um, uh, white, but white tends to dead, deaden it, and you don't always want to do that. That green actually drifts across here as well, and, and over here. Um, actually, there's a bit of blue in that, isn't there? Let's see what happens when we add a bit of blue. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go for a bit of white as well this time because, I'm sorry, 
How pretty for you. Uh, I'm adding a bit of white to this because the uh, plant that's down here is actually quite bleached out. And uh, I think the, the bleached out color uh, that you get when you add white is, um, is useful. And of course, all this is also got this bleached out color on it. I might, I might not. This bleached out color does help with the uh, the reflections, it's quite a nice sort of impression. Right, now then. The tree next to it is a lot darker. I think it's in effect a bit further back. So let's if I put it in darker, so that it actually goes behind this lighter one. And there are places where the, the light is more evident. We'll leave some of that um, darker paint showing through. We don't get too much here. There's, uh, what I need to do is to make sure that this actually goes behind that one. So if I can take that in, it pushes this one forward. It still keeps it very in places. Now the um, excuse me, a moment. I need my rag. It isn't there. Wherever I put my rag, it's behind. It's behind you. Right. Uh, my usual practice when I'm painting and I got a brush I like is to just wipe the paint off, and then when I make add the next color. Um, more or less gone, so I'm more or less all right. I'm going to use the alizarin. Sorry, is that my ear again? Yeah. Right. So I've got alizarin. Um, yeah, there are places where it is actually quite dark. No, that's in the wrong place. And a bit more brown, so I will add some burnt sienna to that. I think I need to loosen it up a bit, so I'm adding some zest it to the mix.
if this tree is too paralyzingly red, it takes away from the um, the truffle, which is not what we're we're after. That bit was wrong. It was wrong, so let's... That's no hardship. It's okay. Right, now, I'm not entirely happy with the alizarin, but adding blue to it just makes it purple. Well, let's just brand it off. She's no hardship. Where is that? That's here. Just a touch of dark there. And this, I think we can push back. There. Right now, I want something for up here. Neat alizarin isn't working. Um, It's it's too bright. Uh, neat burnt sienna, I think, would be too dull. Give it a whirl. See what happens. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so if I add some yellow to the burnt sienna. What is that? Not quite right either. I don't want to go to white. Uh, add a bit more yellow. See what that does. It just makes it tan. And it's definitely not tan. Okay, turn a bit of white. Uh, very often when you wrestle like this you end up with something that's actually quite appealing by the time you finish you've got so many colors in there that it, uh, it starts to sing which i think it's beginning to do actually there's some quite a lot of interesting colors going on in there so I'll carry on and see what happens. That is separated. That comes in here. I think these could be doing this lightening up a bit on the top. And that was sienna and Indian yellow. A bit of white, I think I added in. It was for the tan color. Right. 
Oh well, the forest is certainly closing in. I think I need to push it back a bit, but uh, that will be the next job. Okay, so I'll wipe that paint off. The fact that I've got some red on the brush and I'm going to go to green only means that the green becomes uh, a little less vibrant, which is probably a good thing. So we'll see how we get on. Need some more paint. Excuse my ears. Right, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to do that. And some white. This tree is actually um, quite bright. Coming well over here. That darkness isn't quite as prevalent as that. It's all over here too. I'm going to leave some of that light that's there. Look, oh, I rather like it actually. But I've got to put in some bits of uh, other things too. We need a little bit more contrast there, so I've added a bit more of the sap green to the mix. Try not to overmix on the palette because sometimes you can get nice streaky effects which add to the uh, interest of the picture. When you when you uh, have a brushstroke that's got more than one set of colours in it, I 
right, I'm pretty sure I need to bring this tree over here, further forward. And I have I took out too much of the background color. So I'm basically using neat white on the brush. But because the paint underneath is wet, um, it's, um, it's changing to green on the canvas. Uh, Does allow you to go back over the darker tree as well. Some effect. I think I like that a bit better. Ah, how about that? Um, I think I need to be lighter on the bank here as well. Um, there's a sort of sandy color in there. We pull the bank sideways, come sa. That might help a bit. Right, now then, the red tree. Am I getting away with doing that on the red tree? I don't think I like that. I do like that. They are the penny on. Yeah. Okay. That's working. What a sandy colour. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, I've stopped talking again. Um, it, it happens when I get when I get interested in the picture. So, uh, are we doing for time? I'm going to warm this up a bit. The rest of the picture is warmed up. And if I didn't want that to uh, um, to look a bit sad and sort of ghostly, it wasn't like that. It was a very friendly building. 
I remember it. Um, so, um, admittedly, it is purpley over here, but I think it's probably a bit too purpley over there. I think this side here actually darker in places. So if I take some, if I take some um, of the, it's also wider. That that isn't such a. Yeah. Be back to ten minutes. I'm just getting interested. What happens, of course, is when you do this sort of thing, is that the trees encroach on the building, and the building gets thinner, so then you have to push the building out again to make it a little less... Uh, um, it's a bit warmer down here. I'm not quite sure if that's the branches or the stick. Over it, or whether there's uh, actually something there. I don't like that blue shadow. Yeah, I'll, what I'll do in the end is paint it out start again there. Right, now where's the purple? I add a bit of white to the purple. And come on, you. Need to do a bit more to that over there. That that is truer. Of course, there'd be a bit more of the building back here, which uh, you can't see. So if it's as dark as that, there's, there's probably a roof on it, isn't it? Did you see a roof? I didn't see, I didn't see a roof. That could go even darker, I think. Oh, that's got a blue in it. Right, not a blue. It's a bit intense, but uh, no mind that. I think, I think that's probably a better, better drawing. Mm. Oh, yes. I'm a wee bit happier with that. I think I have the window too narrow. I think I have the window too narrow. Right. Well, we'll find some dark of some colour. And make it white. There is, in fact, uh, uh, the thickness of the wall to put in there as well, which will add to the 
expression of what it's trying to do. I think I'll probably leave it there because it's pretty wet all over now. Um, I need to bring the tree on this side forward even more. Perhaps on a level with, more on a level with this one. That means you put it forward for, and that means pushing that one back. I think that's a bit too exciting. Um, but that can be attended to later. Uh, right, that's that's it for today, I think. Um, it's, I'm a bit more happy with it now than I was when I saw it when I began. I'm not sure about the blue over there. I think that's not right, but again, I can put that right next time. But we need to imply that this isn't just a facade does actually have depth to it. Um, it actually isn't clear from the picture, and I don't remember from actually being there whether it had a roof or not, but because the inside is so dark, I can't imagine it didn't have some kind of, even if it was just a tree. But... I think there was trees. My impression is that yeah. there were really only two walls left. Right. That one and... Um, the one on left hand side as you look at it. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But not much. So that, that one has to be attended to. But uh, at least the trees are in a bit better. There is a feeling of it emerging out of the forest, uh, which is what I intended. The bank is a bit more believable, and therefore the water is more believable. Um, and uh, I go on from there. Next time.